I'm going to walk us through how we can graph this quadratic equation using the zero product property and um, other parts of the equation. So the first thing that I want to do is find the x-intercepts. I want to solve this function. I know that I need to factor it. So when I factor it, I'm going to get x minus 2 and x minus 4. That is a 4 here as my factors. Now using the zero product property tells me that I am going to substitute 0 for y. And then I'm going to solve each of these independently. So x minus 2 equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0. And so my x-intercepts, once I solve these, are x equals 2 and x equals 4. So those are my x-intercepts. And I am going to plot those on my coordinate plane. So x equals 2 is here, and x equals 4 is here. So that's my first step solving using the zero product property and graphing the x-intercepts. My next step is to find the line of symmetry. I'm going to abbreviate it like that. So I know that the equation for the line of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a. In my function up here, I know that a, b, and c a is 1, b is negative 6, and c is 8. So I can come back here. Negative b is going to be negative, negative 6, divided by 2 times a, or 1. I know that a negative and a negative is positive. It's going to be positive 6 divided by 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. The line of symmetry is 3. And so I'm going to draw a dashed line here through the number 3. I know that is my line of symmetry. And it makes sense because um, these are on equal sides. I know that the line of symmetry is a reflection. So if this is one space, then on this side it needs to be one space also. So now that I have found my line of symmetry, the next step is to find the vertex. I'm going to do this in a different color. So I'm going to find the vertex. Now, I know that the vertex is going to be on this line of symmetry. And to find it, I'm going to use this value of x in the equation that I have from the beginning. So I have y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now if I substitute this value of x from the line of symmetry, I will find the corresponding y point. So y equals 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8. y equals 9 minus 18 plus 8. y equals negative 9 plus 8. y equals negative 1. So the vertex is at 3, negative 1 because I know the vertex is an x, y coordinate point. So I'm going to come up here and graph 3, negative 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, negative 1. That's my vertex. Now I want to find the y-intercept. I know that the y-intercept is going to be equal to my c term. So my y-intercept is going to be 8. So I can count 1, 
two. Oh, I missed a line there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is going to be my y intercept. Now, I can plot another point. I know that the line of symmetry is a reflection line. So I have one, one and a half. So if I reflect it, I have one and a half, one. And that's going to be a point there. Because they're equal distance from the line of symmetry. My last step is to identify if this parabola is going to open up or down. And because the A term is positive, it's going to open up. And I can work to sketch my parabola. And there we go. This is the graph of y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8.